H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Hi guys, welcome back to the classes. Before starting the class, please let me know if you have any questions. In the last class, we were discussing about a three-tier architecture example. The three-tier is as, as simple as sim. First thing is, the three-tier means we will be dividing an application into three layers. It means data layer, means business layer, and the one is presentation layer. Like this it will be there. Data layer, business layer, and presentation layer. This is called bottom-up approach. Bottom-up approach in the sense, first we will be creating database related stuff. DB things meaning that we'll be creating a table then we'll come back to the data layer here we'll be having some ADO.NET connections mission related and here we'll be having a communication whatever you want to have methods we'll be writing like inserting the data or fetching the data updating the data and deleting the data business layer will be having a intermediate layer it will be having a business logic and presentation layer is like the one where user will be seeing your web page user interface we call it as so initially when you create a web application you will get a, a project get created at the solution explorer whatever the name you have given application name it will be there under this you can create n number of web forms or web pages or pages then you will be having one more thing above this application name is called solution explorer solution so when you right click on the solution you can go and create your class libraries that is for data layer and that is for business layer then once you created data layer there you have written your code then we can build this one build this class library after building this class library you will be getting generated dot dll then once you have successfully created this dll here we need to refer that how to refer that just right clicking on references folder then we can add this dot dll folder to this business layer we are making a relation between this data layer and business layer after adding this the first and foremost thing is you need to do add that namespace using using at the top of your program using data layer whatever the namespace you had given there you need to use here after that we will be creating an object for the class which is there under namespace this will be there in a data layer this is a namespace a namespace is a collection of classes now we wanted to access the methods which are there in a data layer we'll be creating a object for that class then we can access the methods and after we have created a methods again inside this business logic we can build this class library again one more time here also then you come to this user interface same thing you need to do right click and references folder using this 
data layer. Here it will be business layer. Instead of data layer, it will become business layer. Then we can access the methods which are there in a business layer by creating a class object for that. Okay. So finally, how many projects will be there in our application is three projects. One is main application name that is the project name that you have created then data layer and then business layer. Let us flip to the Visual Studio. I will show you this practically. This is the Solution Explorer. This is the application name that we have created. Once you have created this, you will be seeing like this. These things. We have added this webform1.aspx. What we need to do is First and foremost thing is we need to create a database related things I told right. So create a table like below. This is the one. Don't worry, I'll be sharing this script and this whole uh, notepad so that you can practice it when you are having free time. After creating a table, I'm creating a stored procedure to insert book details in the table. Let's create a procedure, insert book details underscore sp, insert into book details, book name, this is the one. Here we don't need to supply book ID value because it is an identity field. This means it will be auto increment. Here one means the seed value. This one is incremental value. Meaning that very first time if we are inserting some data into this table, it will be taken as a one for this book ID. Then onwards it will be keep on incrementing by one. First time it is one. Second time two, third time three, like that. So we no need to supply a value for a field called book ID when you have specified like this identity one comma one. Here the one and one is be your choice. Whatever you want to give, you can give. If you want initially it should be five, then onwards you need to increment by five. You can go ahead. If you want to increment by ten, also you can go ahead. Whatever numbers you want, but it should be integer numbers only. Usually we will be giving only ones, one and one. Then this is normal stored procedure inserting the values. Then other stored procedure, update book records, then delete book records, then fetching the book records. This is simple, select sharp from book details. Now see here, SQL connection I am making, where I am making in the data access layer. How to create a data access layer? You just come here into the project, right click on the solution, add the new project. Here you can see class library. You have to choose that a class library. Let us wait for some time. It is still loading. Just not responding, it seems. Yeah, now it got. By default, you would be there in a web. So please select Windows. You can see this class library. If you add this, it will come to in this place. Suppose if I add like this sample, DAL, data access library. <coughs> now if you go to Solution Explorer, you can see like this. Same way I have done here also, data access layer. See, there will be three same files. Properties references data layer, properties references class one. Here I have renamed that data layer. Class name. I don't want this. I'm going to delete. Okay. Now, first and foremost thing is you need to understand how to create this three tier architecture. Well, first thing you'll be getting a this one, three tier demo. Then we have to create two class libraries each one for data access and business logic layer the first thing after creating this layer <coughs> data access layer you come to this class this is as same as we have done in our previous examples we have created sql connection and then configuration manager this configuration manager will be there in a web.config file this one connection strings this is the one I am using CONSTR CONSTR then 
in the last class i have showed you that how to get book records this is the method which i am writing for to display some values in a grid view but here we don't have a grid view right this is a class library you cannot be having a design page will be having a design page in a .aspx only but not at the cs file so what it required to show in a grid view a data set is required so only i have taken the data set as a return type here i am taking the data in a data set i am returning it to the data set this is a common logic we have seen so many times this is try catch block and finally is used for to close sql connections as well as whatever it is there the one which you wanted to free it the one here it is data set i am disposing it once the work is done so finally block will get executed irrespective of the errors you got whether you have got any error or you didn't get any error finally block will get executed so a finally block is the best place to close the connections or remove the memory it may be an important interview question as well so please remember that where do you close the connections what is the best place to close the connections so finally block is the best place to close the connections now this is simple sql command then fetch book records sp where is it fetch book records sp this one what this is doing it is fetching the whole details of this book details table stored procedure we are doing that fill.ds we are doing command at dispose everything we are doing and then what it is returning return ds now after this creation is done if you feel that this is correct then go and build this here make sure that all is succeeded now you create one more class library for business logic layer as i already created you please go to right click on solution click on add new project by default it will be web please choose this windows then you only can see class library click on okay then this will get created after that the first thing is you need to do you need to add a references add references browse for that where this data access layer is stored so in order to find out that path you can do like this data access layer open folder in file explorer then this is the data access layer you can copy this path then here you need to reference that browse then you can paste here click on enter now it will take you to the this place you can see this date mod by 26 may 650 just two minutes back select it and then click add then it will get added to this one understand click on ok then you need to open the class here you should write first thing is using data access layer where is this data access layer why i wrote this using data access layer when you expand this you can see that namespace this one this is the namespace after adding a reference you need to add this namespace to this wherever you wanted to have a relationship here i wanted to have a relation from business logic to data access layer here i am creating one more method it is same as get book records in a data layer this one get book records then i am creating a data layer what is this data layer called you can go to this data layer here you can see the class name in order to access the methods which are there inside the class we are creating an object for this data layer in a business logic layer obj dal then obj dal dot get book records from where we are getting this this method is there inside a class data layer this is the one get book records that's how we are making a relation understand then we are returning this obj dal to where we are going to return again see here if you feel that everything is wrong everything is perfect you just build this particular business logic layer and then you should refer this in a presentation layer 
like how we did in a business logic layer of this data access layer the same thing we are maintaining business logic layer is going to refer in a presentation layer here also we have a references folder if you wanted to know that where is this path just go to this file folder path this is the one copy it and then here in the references add references browse copy it and paste it here you can see business logic layer add it okay now again go to the presentation layer first important thing is you need to use this using namespace where is this namespace is inside this business logic this is the namespace name we are adding then this is common again business logic where is this business logic class contain in this one we are creating an object for this class so that we can access the methods which are there inside a get book records i mean this is the one of the method see here in the page load event i am calling a method called bind book records grid view and then here data set i created ds is there then if row count is greater than zero then bind it where is this get book records we are getting from this business logic get book records something wrong then will be showing like this a small error phone otherwise it will be showing the actual data now i'll take this with a break point so that you can understand easily let me build it again entire application we can build it if you choose this one entire application will get built like this one and this one business logic layer as well as data access layer if you want particular class library you just right clicking on this class library you can build that respective class library alone now let us see the breakpoint i am explaining now the first and foremost thing is web form on that aspx so while we are creating a three tier application we'll be using bottom up approach but while we are running this top down approach this is the one the top business inform under this is presentation layer go with f10 line by line oh. i wanted to show you the line by line stop it Save on. Now it is a method. So whenever you encounter a method name, you please choose F11 so that it will take you to the method where it is written. Once you go to this method, you can again go with F10. See where is this method written? You just click on F11. Now it is in a business logic. Understand? F10 again. F10 again. Where is this method written? We don't know as of now. Just click on F11. See, it is taking you to the data layer. And this is normal logic to fetch the records. Then it is disposing that. Finally, it is returning this data set. See where it will go. once it is completed it will come back to the business logic layer see here this is again it will be returning where it is returning from where it is called now finally we came back to the presentation layer now if the row count is greater than 0 then it will be showing that data in a grid view that is done page load is happening like this here 